This rental video is for 4702 Stickney Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44144. And the main purpose of making this video is for you to decide if you like the home or if you don't. And if you decide that you want to apply and if you want to move forward, then I will go over all the requirements and everything that you need. So I'm going to be 100% transparent with you. And I will let you know exactly what kind of a tenant we're looking for, or what kind of requirements we're looking for, that way you feel that you're not wasting your time. As you can see, we replaced the carpet through the whole house. Uh, we painted everything, and even on the living room, uh, we put brand new flooring. I mean, the home is uh, it's beautiful. It's, uh, I think it's, it's perfect for a small family. Uh, there's a two bedroom, one bath, 1.5 bathrooms. And the reason I say that is because you have a full bathroom here on the first floor, and then you have a half a bathroom on the basement. Uh, it has a central air unit. As you can see right there, that's the thermostat, so you can control the furnace, you can control the, the AC. The kitchen has plenty of space to do whatever thing you wanna do. Uh, to invite your family, friends, uh, whomever you want to hang out with. Uh, and those are the cabinets. I mean, the home is in, in perfect shape. Um, one thing about the appliances, uh, the home doesn't come with any appliances. So you have to bring your own appliances. Also, the tenant is responsible for all utilities. And that includes, of course, the water, sewer, electric, gas, everything. And those would be the rooms. There are plenty of space, uh, like, I, like I mentioned, for a small family. And the bathroom is in between both rooms. There's a closet in each one of the rooms. Uh, like I mentioned before, we put carpet through a whole house. Also, something that I really like about this home is that you have plenty of space to store anything you want. Uh, by the way, that's the, that's the bathroom, that's the bath sink toilet i mean it is a beautiful home um as you will see like like i mentioned before you have plenty of space to store anything you want that's the attic the attic is huge i mean it's an unfinished attic but you know if you have a business if you have uh, things that you want to store you can use the attic right there also there's a room as you saw right there there's a room on, right next to the attic it's unfinished so i don't count it as a room however uh, if we were to count that room, the home would have like three bedrooms. That's the basement. There's plenty of space. You have your water heater, your furnace, central air unit. It's more storage space. It's a great home. All right, rental details of the home. Rent is $800 a month. Deposit, $800 total, $1,600. What that means is that for you to be able to move into the home, you need to pay sixteen hundred dollars within 24 hours of an approval meaning that if we approve your application within 24 hours you're going to be signing the lease and you're going to be paying sixteen hundred dollars now that means total what i mean is you cannot pay eight hundred dollars to move in and wait until you get paid a week from now two weeks from now to pay the deposit or vice versa the sixteen hundred dollars will be due the day that you sign the lease if you don't have the money Please don't apply because, you know, you're going to be wasting your time just being upfront with you. Tenant pays all utilities. Electric, gas, water, sewer. Yes, water and sewer are included. So you have to pay for water and sewer. You'll be paying for everything. The home doesn't come with any appliances. So you have to bring your own appliances. There is a $30 non-refundable fee. To submit your application, we need a complete application filled out, $30 application fee, pay stubs, the past 30 days of pay stubs. If one of those items is missing, your application is automatically declined. All right, let me go over the requirements to get this home. There is three requirements. Number one, proof of income. Number two, background check. Number three, we need to have a good business relationship. Income, we have to be able to prove at least $2,500 net income after tax money. To do that, we need the past 30 days of pay stubs. Let me repeat this, it's very important. The past 
30 days of pay stub. Please, if you send me pay stubs from two months, three months, four months, five months ago, just because you made more money back on the day a few months ago, that's just not going to work out. I understand that you might, might have lost your hours, uh, you might not be working as much as before all this craziness crisis going on, and I get that, I'm sorry, but for me, to be able to get you a proof, I need at least $2,500 by proving it with your pay stubs. I need 30 days of pay stubs. 30 days of pay stubs. If you are self-employed, meaning you don't receive a pay stub, you get paid cash under the table. You have your own business. In your situation, we're going to need 2018 and 2019 tax returns. All pages, all documents, all schedules, everything. Now you say, Isaac, I don't pay taxes on the money that I get paid. I don't pay taxes on um, on my tips. I don't pay taxes, period. I don't have that proof of income. I'm sorry, I cannot rent you the home. You will not be able to qualify the income, therefore don't apply. Don't waste your money. Number two, background check. We need you to fill out the whole application completely. I need phone numbers. I need addresses, names. I need everything, every detail. If it shows in the application, if the application is asking for that information, please put it there and be 100% honest. I'm being transparent with you. That's the reason why I'm making this video. I will call your employer, your landlord, your I will verify addresses, I will verify your, your, your income, I will verify everything. So don't assume that I will not do that. I want to be upfront with you. If what I see on the application doesn't match reality, if it doesn't match the public records, your application will be automatically declined. So I want to be 100% honest and transparent with you. If I see that there is an empty spot, a blank spot on the application, I'm assuming that you don't want to provide that information, which is fine. Therefore, I'm assuming that you don't want me to verify that information and your application will be denied. Yes, we will look at the public records. We will look at everything, everything that you've done during your whole life. We want to know exactly what kind of tenant we're dealing with. Also, before I forget, evictions. If you had an eviction, even if the eviction process was initiated, it was started, but never finished, your application would be denied. So please don't waste your time, don't waste $35 because your application would be denied. We won't be able to approve you if an eviction process was initiated. Third, we need to have a good business relationship. It's not only about the money, it's not only about the background check. What I mean with that is if you can prove your income and if you can prove that you're a great citizen but we don't click we don't get a loan i mean we're getting into a business relationship here you know we're going to be providing your home for the past two, we're going to be providing your home for the next two years as long as you keep paying your rent on time what that means is that we need to have a good business relationship if we don't click if you don't like me if we cannot communicate properly then being honest with you there's just no reason to keep moving forward with this there's lots of rentals out there lots, lots there's lots of rentals in cleveland and I'm pretty sure you might be able to find a good match for you. But we have the best ones. That's my opinion, of course. But it's true. Therefore, it's a fact. I'm just kidding with you. The last thing I want to say is this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. Tweet me, email me, Instagram me, Facebook me, email me, text me, whatever. You know, uh, you can find me in any way, shape or form. Due to the high volume of applications that we receive every single day, I cannot be double checking your income, double checking that all your application is filled out. I mean, I'm assuming that is the reason why I'm making this video. I'm assuming that that's it, that is what you're going to do, that you're going to be checking your net income and you're going to be filling out all the application. Please don't wait $30 or especially don't waste your time. And that's it. Thank you for watching. And by the way, we have two rentals at this time. I will put the link somewhere on this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.